Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you all had a really good week. I have had a great week myself. I do have a wedding this coming weekend, so that is what I've been kind of working on most of the week. Um, it is a full on fall here in Oregon. I have been loving the weather. It's been absolutely gorgeous and the trees in our neighborhood are starting to change colors it's just it's so beautiful I'm just I'm so happy this time of year <laughs> I feel like I just come to life anyway I have my Friday favorites and flops to share with you guys as always I have a lot of things to talk about I will put links for everything down below if you want to know where to find these things. The information will be in the description box for you. The first thing I'm going to start with is, it's a little random, but I have worked with this company before. They sent me one of their air purifiers last year and Lavoy reached out and wanted to send me their newest one and I have the one that they sent last year in Stella's room and it has been amazing. Um, Stella can, when she gets sick, her asthma acts up and so her room, I try to do a really good job of keeping it like very clean and dust free and just um, an environment that is like very neutral. <laughs> Not sterile, but like, you know, like not a ton of dust and, you know, just dirty carpet. Not that we have dirty carpets. I'm making it sound like we live in a pigsty. We don't, but I try extra hard to make sure that her room especially is very fresh. Um, there is no home fragrance in Stella's room. So, um, but I've had that purifier in her room and it has been amazing in there. And so when they offered to send me one of their newest ones, I was like, heck yeah, I want to try it out. So this is the newest model. And I'm just going to try to get this into frame for you guys. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, but you guys, this is even better than the one they sent last year. This is so quiet. I have been moving it kind of around the different areas of our house. Um, and oh man, it is, it's so quiet. Um, it does have three speeds. I'm going to show you guys the top here so you can kind of see some of the features. So there's three speeds. It also has a lock mode so that, you know, little fingers can't necessarily come along and switch things. <laughs> on and off. Um, it has a timer on it, which I think is fantastic. Um, you can hit this little thing here, it's this little moon, and it makes the like LED display here turn off. So if you wanna have this on at night in your bedroom, um, there's not gonna be any light emitted from this. This is so good, you guys, and it's so easy to set up. You basically unpack it, you um, unscrew this little bottom part right here. You take out the filter. You take the plastic wrap off the filter. You put it back together and like that's it. Like that's all that you have to do. Um, Lavoie is sold on Amazon. There will be a link down below in the description box and um, that will give you 15% off of this bad boy. I believe it retails for $84.99. Basically, it, I think it's like $85 on Amazon. So the link down below um, in the description box, that information, that'll get you 15% off. This is amazing, you guys. In fact, this one is so good that I'm going to go ahead and put this one in Stella's room because it is so much more quiet than the other one that I have in there. Stella really kind of likes that like white noise in the background, but I don't want her to get used to like having noise around necessarily. So um, I'm gonna put this one in her room. I'm just gonna talk about the features of this real quick. I have the box here. So this is their True HEPA Air Purifier Core 300. So that is the model here. So this has um, uh, the filter that's in here. There is a pre-filter which helps to neutralize um, larger particles so things like lint and dust and fibers and pet fur um there is a true hepa filter in here which traps fine particles like dust mites pet dander mold spores and pollen 
And then there's also an activated carbon filter, which neutralizes household odors, um, like cooking and pet odors. And one of the reasons that I said yes to Lavoie initially is I like having an air purifier in the house because we have two dogs. Um, and like, I, I hate the thought of people coming into our house and like thinking, oh, there's dogs that live here. Like I've been in people's homes where when you walk in, it just smells like dog right away. And I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but when I smell just that like kind of wet dog smell, like it's, uh, it kind of grosses me out. And I'm, hi Penny, speaking of dogs, um, there you go. <laughs> she came in with her bone. Um, it, yeah, this this removes any odors that you might have in your home. It is absolutely amazing, you guys. Um, so again, um, it has three speeds. Um, it clears allergens. It removes pet dander. It just has a lot of really great features. You guys, if you're in the market for a new one, I can tell you from personal experience from having used the other one for like the past year, this is an amazing filter that really takes all of the odors out of the air. It takes all of those like dust and dander and like anything that's floating through the air, it filters it. It's amazing. If you're in the market, I would highly suggest this one. I am going to order myself another one because I wanna put one in our bedroom. Um, and I want, uh, I want this one in Stella's room. And then the one I have in Stella's room, I think I'm going to like kind of move into the downstairs of the house, um, into our family room. Cause that's where we spend most of our time and the dogs are in there the most. They, they like sleeping on the couch and stuff. So I'm going to move that down there. But anyway, a big thanks to LaVoyte for sending out another one of these. Cause it, it's amazing. It is an amazing air purifier. Okay, let's get into the beauty stuff this week. There's so much I don't even know where to start. Um, let's start with eyeshadow this week. I was playing with this a lot, this being the Natasha the Denona Leila palette. Um, still loving this. This is so great, you guys. Uh, when the Sephora Rouge or VIB sale comes around in November, I would really suggest picking this up. I know it's not new. I know it's not exciting, but it's such a beautiful palette, you guys. These eyeshadows have an amazing formula, and I just, I really just enjoy playing with this, especially during the fall. Like these jewel tones, mm, to die for. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna be using this palette. My best friend's wedding is a couple of weeks from now, and I think I'm gonna use this palette on her as well as myself. I'm doing uh, her makeup. We did a little bit of a trial run, but. I want to do another one and the first go around I used some Viseart eyeshadows which were gorgeous but she wants a much more like jewel toned like plummy look and this is going to be perfect for that so oh you guys this palette is amazing um I should have listened to those of you who've been telling me for like a couple years to just splurge on this um they are amazing eyeshadows. Also this week, I have been playing with some of my Viseart eyeshadows as well, and specifically the Nuance uh, palette, which is this bottom row right here. So um, really nice neutrals in there. Just very pretty, very simple. Lots of kind of like peachy and slightly warm looks. This, I don't have names for you guys, but this is in that palette. This really pretty kind of like penny color, like copper penny color. Um, Oh, it's so pretty. I put this, when when was I wearing this? I think it was like Monday or Tuesday. I got so many compliments on my eye look and I had this on my lid. Oh, me and my awkward swatches, holy moly. Why do I suck so bad at this? <laughs> anyway, the gorgeous. The Nuance Theory Palette, a must have, for sure, hands down. All right, lips this week. Mostly just this. This is what I have on my lips right now. Uh, again, this is like a spendy, splurgy product. It's the Hourglass um, Lip Gloss in, I believe it's Provoke. I took the little sticker off the bottom. I think it's Provoke. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to put that in the description box. These glosses are really nice, you guys. They're they're thick, but they're not too thick and sticky. They stay put a decently long time. 
they have kind of like a minty feel to them, but they're not plumping or anything like that. But just this color is like the perfect neutral. Like no matter what your eye look, like this is just always going to match whatever you have on, whether it's a warm eye look, a cool toned eye look, or some neutral in between, smoky, everyday, just put this on and you're good to go. Like you don't need a lipstick with it. It's, it's just pretty on its own. Yeah, I love this. Love it. Um, also, uh, been using this <laughs> every night before going to bed and then every single morning. And I love it. I did, uh, put up that sponsored video with Strivectin on Monday. So if you haven't watched that, um, go check that out. Uh, this is the double fix for lips. And, um, this has a vertical line treatment for the lines around your mouth, which I'm lucky enough to not really have, but prevention is is a good thing and then there is a really nice plumping treatment why is she not in here anymore did you guys see her run out i didn't <laughs> um there is a like actual treatment for your lips as well this is, it's so good you guys it is so so good i want to say this is somewhere in like the 35 36 dollar range it is absolutely worth it it is amazing um i highly highly recommend this lip treatment that's amazing all right um, this week for mascara, I, I bought this at Target. Uh, I've never used this one. It's the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. I like this. Um, it's kind of a nice mix between the like volumizing formula and I think their lengthening formula. Um, it has that plastic bristle brush. I have poked myself in the eye a couple times with this one because the bristles are like different, different lengths. Um, but this does a really good job with my lashes. They're pretty natural. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, but th this is wonderful. It's really, really good. Um, I think I still like the Clump Crusher the best. But if you haven't tried this one, it's amazing. This is not new from CoverGirl at all. But I just have never tried it. So anyway, that's fantastic. Blush this week was mostly the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Dolly. If you don't have this and you love Dolly, anything Dolly, <laughs> you need this. By the way, um, Buxom did come out with some new lipsticks and there is a Dolly Danger or Dolly something that I'm gonna have to pick up. So I'm gonna snag that the next time that I am in Ulta. But this blush, you guys, is gorgeous. It's super pigmented, so be careful with this one. But it stays put all day. It's amazing. In fact, this is the one that I'm going to use on Kate on her wedding day because I know it's not going to go anywhere. So that's amazing. This week, I have also been doing, I thought I'd share with you guys this little tip here. So this is the original mineral veil. Um, this is a deluxe. Um, I think I mentioned this probably last week or the week before. I've been using this again. It's really, really nice. But my little tip for you guys that I really like is I take a slightly damp beauty blender and I dip it in here, and after I put on my uh, SPF, my Paula's Choice SPF, I tap this over top, and then almost like I'm baking. I've never really done that. That's not a trend that I've participated in a whole lot, but um, I'll kind of press this into my skin and then brush it away with a fluffy brush and then go in with my powder foundation. I feel like it has been making my makeup last even longer. I've been going to the gym at noon every day and I don't take my makeup off before going, which is probably not great for me, but it's fine. Um, that helps me like get through my workout. When I leave the gym, it doesn't even look like I've been sweating or it's, it's amazing. That helps my makeup last so much longer. If you've never tried that, try it. I don't know how good that would work with liquid foundation because liquid foundation is totally different from what I do. So um, I don't know. If you've tried that, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. All right, skincare wise, um, I I am pretty close to doing my review of this bad boy. This is the Wonder Beauty Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate. This is a 1% retinoid. Um, I really do like this a lot. Um, this has squalane in it as well as Alentoine. It is very soothing to the skin. It's not irritating at all. Um, I don't think it's as good as the Drunk Elephant, um, a Passione, but I think this is pretty good and this is less expensive. So here's an alternative if the Drunk Elephant is like way out of your budget. Um, 
So this, this is really, really nice. Um, and then I used this on Kate and then I was like, I should get this out and use it on myself. Uh, it's the Derma E Skin Restore Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. This is so good, you guys. Um, so I've been using this on my neck morning and night. This is a great moisturizer, you guys. Um, it's really, really hydrating. So if you have very dry skin, you should give this a go, especially for fall and winter as you're like turning on the heat in your house. If you've never tried this one, pick this up at Ulta. It's amazing. Um, I have a hair thing to share with you guys this week, and this was an Octoly find for me. So I did apply to Color Wow to be able to review this, and they were like, sure. So they sent the product for consideration. I didn't pay for it. Octoly does not require like positive reviews on any of their products, so I don't have to necessarily say anything good about this. But this is this is good, you guys. Um, so this is the Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. Um, they say that this is the cure for flat hair, adds spring and height without dulling color. This is great, you guys. This gives amazing body. I ironically did not use it in my hair this morning, and I will address this here in just a minute, so we'll, we'll talk about what's happening with my hair color. Um, but this, this is really good, you guys. This gets my hair big. All I do is I spray it throughout my roots and blow dry. You can even touch up with this like throughout the day if you want a little extra oomph and I've done that and it's totally easy to do that and it doesn't leave your hair crunchy or crusty or like sticky in any kind of way. This is a really nice root boost. Color Wow is a great brand. Everything that I've tried from them so far has been amazing. Um, I know my friend Susan really likes this brand and this is, this is no different than anything else that I've tried from them. This is a brand that I definitely want to try more from for sure. And then um, one more thing here. This was also an Octoly find for me. Uh, I had the Queen Bee perfume from this line before. Um, this is from the Good Chemistry perfume brand. This is a cruelty-free brand that you can find at Target, actually. Um, this perfume I have smelled several times while I was at Target, and I was like, I wonder how this would really wear on me. Every time that I've gone to, like, put the tester on, like, it's it hasn't sprayed any out, so I've never been able to try it. But I found this on Octoly, so once again, I applied to Good Chemistry to be able to review this, and they approved and sent it out for free. Um, this is really nice, you guys. If you like Aqualina's Pink Sugar, you are going to like this. There are definitely some similarities. It's a, like a cotton candy sweet kind of smell. They say the notes are freesia, raspberry, and vanilla. Really, it's more of that like raspberry, cotton candy, and vanilla concoction. It's so nice, but what I will say, and you know, in all fairness, this is a fairly inexpensive perfume. This doesn't stay put for more than a couple of hours on me. Uh, in fact, usually I have to reapply this, like if I want like to really smell it, I'll have to reapply it every couple of hours. Um, they do have, I think, roller balls or smaller spray bottles. I would definitely think about pairing that with the full size of the perfume here if you wanted to take it with you. What are you eating? Oh, good. Toilet paper. Awesome. That means that I have an entire roll of toilet paper on my bathroom floor right now. That just really stresses me out. Oh, this dog, you guys. Um, anyway, this is really, really nice. Again, if you like Aqualina's Pink Sugar, you're really gonna like this. I see myself getting a bottle of this for Stella, like for Christmas. I think it'll be the perfect stocking stuffer for her. In fact, she's been in here spraying this on herself. She really likes this scent a lot. It is kind of the perfect, like, middle school girl scent. <laughs> it's very sweet. Um, it's not cloying, but it is very sweet. So you have to like that cotton candy type scent in order to really be into this one. The Queen Bee is more of a beautiful like floral scent. So um, anyway, this is this has been really good and I'm definitely enjoying it and I have a feeling Stella is gonna steal it from me. Maybe we can share it. All right, let's talk about my hair, you guys. Okay, so if you remember from my Ulta haul, I picked this up from Splat. This is their Midnight Indigo. 
And this is from the 30 wash, no bleach needed line. Splat has several different options to choose from. They have a 30 wash original kit, which I'm assuming you would maybe need to do bleach with. There is a 30 wash, no bleach kit. There is a 10 wash, no bleach kit, and then a one wash, no bleach kit. So, um, the way that I use this was not per the instructions at all. In fact, you'll see, like I, I still have all the things in here. I used a tablespoon and you can see, see right there. That's what I used. So this was pretty full. I used a tablespoon of this in with my conditioner on Sunday. Oh my goodness. You can just stop that. I used a tablespoon of this in with my conditioner and left it in my hair probably for 10, 15 minutes and then washed it out. Oh man, my hair was blue. <laughs> I posted a picture on Instagram. My hair was so blue and several uh, people, well, a couple of people said that they thought Splat was like a terrible, uh, hair color company like that it it doesn't wash out and that it like messes with like salon color and all it, I don't even remember um but I have to say I, I feel like for like not even using this per the instructions it worked really freaking well that being said it washed out very quickly and that is because I didn't use it the way that it was intended I actually mixed it in with my conditioner um but it uh, it has faded now to like different shades of blue and purple in my hair which I think is kind of cool too but it's been four washes now and I have a feeling it'll be out completely by next week um I want to fully like do this on my hair and I think it's gonna look amazing but um, I want to wait until after my friend's wedding she she doesn't care what I do with my hair if I showed up with blue hair she'd be fine with it like I I am not friends with people who would be high maintenance about stuff like that because those types of people are not the type of people I want in my life <laughs> so um, she, you know she even said on my Instagram that if your hair is blue for the wedding that would be amazing um it's not going to be though so but this uh, i'm really excited to try this like per the actual instructions because i it was amazing for the one day that it was super blue but this blue is intense it did stain my ears because i wasn't very careful about it it stained my hands um it took a little while to get that off my hands as well as my ears but i'm gonna have someone help me when i do this um but I, I'm excited to do it. So I'll probably do that the week after the wedding. And then I'll have some blue hair. I also purchased the Cara Color Blue Conditioner um, to hopefully maintain this a little bit longer. So I'm gonna try blue hair for a little while. The good thing about my hair is honestly that it really doesn't hold color very well at all anymore. Some people were like, oh, your hair is gonna be blue forever. It's not. Um, I mean, this has faded significantly and it was it was really, really blue. So um, I don't anticipate like it never washing out of my hair. And even if I'm left with like a slight blue or purple tinge, I'm totally fine with that. What I don't want to do is like permanently color my hair in any kind of way again. And maybe I'm too old to be doing fun colors like this. I'm 41 next month, but um, I don't know. I like it. I'm, it's fun. <laughs> it's just something different. And you know, since I'm not changing my hair in other ways anymore, this is kind of a fun way for me to switch it up and do something different. And I don't know. I like it. I like the blue hair. So we'll really go for it after the wedding. I'm also, I have an appointment to cut my hair as well because this needs to be brought up. I'm thinking about like really cutting it short again, but I always like chicken out of that because I have kind of an enormous gourd and I don't really like the way how, like, I don't like how big my face looks <laughs> when I have um, shorter hair. So we'll see, we'll see, anyway. All right, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you have a really good weekend. I have to get back to work 
fluffing out carnations and whatnot. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Links will be down below in the description box, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.